A Pilates resistant band workout for the full body. That's what we're going to be doing today, using the resistance band to add challenge and variety to your workout at home. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Louise from Studio 44 Pilates and we help busy people who are unable to go to a regular Pilates class bring Pilates into their daily lives with our 10 minute videos. If you are new here then welcome, do hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when we next publish a video. All the links mentioned in the video are in the description below. Stay tuned to the end to find out more about the resistance bands and other small equipment that we use during our Pilates sessions. So let's get going. You will need a resistance band and a mat to do this session but if you haven't got one you can still do it just means you won't have so much of a challenge or variety to the exercises that we do. So we're going to start by seated nice and tall with our legs bent. We're going to take our band and we're going to take it over our shins and we're just going to have hold on quite close to it so we've got a bit of tension going onto our shins. So I want you to sit up nice and tall, try not to let your legs splay apart. I want you to focus on that posture. So as you breathe in, pull back on that band and lengthen through that spine. Dropping the shoulder blades or lowering the armpits down the back and taking a nice deep breath in. I want you to pull that chin back slightly so that you're not forward like that, so you can feel the stretch in your neck. And just do that a couple of times, breathing in, keep the lengthening going and you'll start to feel your centre starting to work as well. Good, keep the shoulders nice and relaxed. So from here, we're going to take it into a pelvic tilt. This is quite hard. So we're going to take the tailbone underneath us or your coccyx, but we don't want to be rolling back. So we're trying to keep that upper body nice and still. So let's breathe in, engage that centre slightly and breathe out and go back to that lovely tall position you had. And again, breathing in and breathe out, lengthening through that spine. Let's do one more. Now I don't find this very comfortable, but it's needs must. Sit nice and tall. Good. Okay, from there we're going to take the band over our feet and we're going to lengthen our legs out. So if you haven't got a band, just make sure you do these as normal exercises. So from here, we're just going, we're not going to the floor, we're just going to lengthen nice and tall to start with, we're going to start to tilt. And we're just going to keep tilting, lowering our armpits, keep the tilting, drawing that pubic bone towards your belly button as you take it away. Now you've got the band to hold on to, which is quite nice, so it means that you can get a really nice technique. Take a nice in breath in and breathe out. Start to come up, the band's going to go um, relax, okay, so you take the tension out of the band. Let's do that again. So we're going to tilt, flex those feet for me, lower those armpits, squeeze those inner thighs and get work going in the centre. I'm keeping my shoulders relaxed, it gives you an opportunity to work on all these things that you might struggle with. In breath here, come back up. Try not to use the band too much, but it is there to hang on to a little bit. Sit tall, let's do one more. Taking it down, squeeze the glutes. So I'd love to know if you use the band a lot, do let me know in the comments below, and which exercises you like doing. So by the end of it, it might, you might have a new favourite in this, this session. Good. And come back up and sit nice and tall. Brilliant. Okay, from here, take the band over your pelvis and we're going to just take ourselves down to the floor. So breathing out, roll yourself down. We're going to take the band over our pelvis and we're going to hold on to it. So we want to keep some tension on it. Let, relax yourself down, heels underneath the knees, feet level the seat bones. And we're going to take it into... Uh, shoulder bridge. So breathing out, coming up, peeling that spine off, lifting the hips towards the band, pushing into the band and pushing, pulling down on that band as you come up. In breath at the top, so you've got a lot of resistance going and some work happening through those glutes. In breath and roll back down. Good, well done. Obviously it'll go a little bit lax when you go down. And again, take it up, Breathing out, peeling each part of that spine off the mat. And try not to tense those shoulders up as you come up. Lift the hips into the band, band pull down. Good, in breath. Keep the rib cage towards the floor, so don't over push. We're gonna do one more. In breath, breathing out, squeeze those glutes. Make sure those inner thighs are still working. Keep the shoulders nice and relaxed. In breath and roll back. 
down. Good, well done. Excellent, I hope you enjoyed that. So from here, we're going to take the band over one foot and we're going to lengthen that up in the air. Now I want you to have your elbows on the floor and just hold the band one hand in each uh, side of the band. So the other leg can be either bent or straight, it's entirely up to you. Don't let your back come off the floor too much, it could be in between. So we're going to take it into a one leg circle and the band's here to help you. Breathe out, breathe in. Now try and keep these hands where they are, but it's like flying a kite. Breathing in, breathing out. We're just going to do five one way and five the other. Now watch those shoulders. Good, and take it back the other way. Lovely, and it's really nice. And you've just got to get used to letting the band take the weight of your leg and you just get a really nice mobility in that hip socket. So keeping it moving. Hold it here, pull that leg towards you and just get a bit of a stretch at the back of the leg. Breathe, keep the breath going as you do so. Good. From there, change legs. Take the elbows onto the floor and they need to stay there. Remember the other leg either bent straight or in between. So we're gonna take the leg away. And again, you're flying that kite. Lovely. So using that centre still, the pelvis is moving and we're doing five one way and then five the other. Change direction. Good. Lovely. Keep those shoulders nice and relaxed. Rib cage is still going towards the floor and you're still engaged through that centre. One more. And pull it towards you. Good. Now from here, a nice way to get up. Use the band and sit yourself up. Excellent. Okay, so from here I'm going to put my band, I've got quite a long band, I'm going to just put it in two and take it over my shins and take it into um, rolling back. So this is a nice one if you tend to kick your legs as you do rolling back. So just pull those heels towards you, take them off the floor. Lifting the knees towards the forehead, looking down at your tummy, lowering those armpits. So we're breathing in and we're breathing out. Nice and controlled. Draw those thighs up again. Keep pulling all the time if you can so that you don't use those legs to bring yourself back up. So if you focus on drawing the thighs towards the forehead, looking down, breathing in, breathing out, you should the need to, to um, let those legs help you. So breathe in, breathe out. We're going to do one more. Quite enjoying that. <laughs> Good. It feels nice. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Hold that here. Take the arms out in front with the band. Lengthen one leg. Have a little bit of tension on that band to keep the shoulders nice and relaxed. We're going to take it down to the floor from here. If you need to put your head um, down, that's absolutely fine. Just take your legs a bit higher. So I'm in neutral, I'm going to do one leg stretch. And I'll just do a little strength, uh, pull apart of the band as I bring my legs in. Let's do three more. Three, two, and one. Hold it here if you can. Bring both legs in. We're going to take the arms back, pulling back, heels together. Now, if you find this too intense, take the legs up in the air. That's absolutely fine. Keep the rib cage towards that floor. So we're still working on that engagement in the centre. Let's do two more. Good. Oh, last one. Brilliant. Good. Stay here if you can. But I want to do my band. I'm going to take my band behind my head and I'm going to lengthen my arms. Okay, so it's like a hammock for your head. Don't want you to pull it up too much. Just want you to use that centre to curl up. So we're going to take it round. Keep the arms nice and long. The hands heading towards the ankle. It doesn't have to touch it. Don't overforce it. So we're doing the crisscross. Breathing out. I love this. Breathing in. Good. If you've just washed your hair, sometimes that doesn't help with the band. Breathing in. Lovely. Keep that going. Let's do two more. Two. And one. Brilliant, well done. Good, bring those knees to the chest, have a quick stretch and bring yourself up. From there, grab that band again. The legs out in front if you can. If you need to sit on a block or something, that's fine too. Take the arms out in front, but draw back through that centre, take it forward and pull 
and really lengthen. Good. Sit nice and tall for me. And one more. Taking it back. Breathing out. Good. And relax. Well done. Hope you enjoyed that. So if you want to find out about good um, resistance bands and uh, what, what you should be doing, what strength and things like that, then do head to our small equipment. It's all in their gu guide, which the link to is in the description below. I tend to have two metre bands because it gives me a, um, a variety to do lots of different things. Um, some of the bands that you find are a little bit shorter. So look for some two metre bands. Again, the resistance is entirely up to you, but I think sometimes the stronger for some of the exercises we've just done, it's a really good thing not to have it too weak to give you a little bit of challenge. If you have enjoyed this video, then there are plenty more 10 minute Pilates videos for you on this channel. Check them out.